Assalamu alaikum everyone. So it's been probably seven weeks now since I last posted and someone was kind enough to email me and ask me where I've been. I guess it's just really, you know, eight weeks ago today I lost my uncle. May Allah forgive him. It's kind of been difficult. I can't believe it's been two months. It's just crazy to even say that out loud. But it's been two months since he passed away and it's kind of been a little bit of a struggle. It's been really hard on my mom and I'm sure it's hard on his widow as well, but um, she's strong and I mean, I'm not saying my mom is not strong. This brings up the topic of how people think you're strong if you don't show emotions and you're strong if you don't feel sad or you don't cry and you're somehow weak if you cry or show emotion or you allow sadness to overtake you but that's another topic and there's just a lot going on in my family right now if there's anything I learned from my uncle passing away it's that while you're alive people will act as though you mean something to them that you're important that they miss you when you're not around that they love you so much that they're there for you through thick and thin but as soon as you die the fact of the matter is that the world will go on we all know that the world will go on but it just feels different i guess when you see it in real life um People just move on so quickly and I know in Islam we're not supposed to put your life on a halt or something for anyone if someone dies you know there is no mourning more than three days except for when your husband passes away but you know there's the waiting period and there's the whole other concepts behind why that is the way it is but that's not the topic right now it's just, even though the limit is three days, it's hard to just forget that someone who is always in your life, who is always there for you, is not there anymore. And that they're actually six feet under the ground um, during the cold nights, when it's raining, when it's hot out, when there are bugs everywhere. It's just a hard concept to come to terms with that someone you love is not there anymore. And just seeing everyone in my family doing their own thing and moving on and acting like everything is normal is just very hard for me to accept. What I want to tell you guys is that you should never ruin your akhra for the sake of people in this dunya because people in this dunya will act like they're so close to you and they love you so much but nobody loves anyone everyone's in this world for themselves it's a dog eat dog world nobody has any sense of compassion for anyone nobody cares about anyone's feelings or to make anyone feel included or to have consideration and be sincere and authentic as a person no it's always just me 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 everyone's about themselves so please don't ever feel like if you're under peer pressure or whatever to do something to fit in with people to please people oh this is my good buddy this is my sibling this is my cousin this is my niece this is my nephew this is my whatever these people mean so much to me let's say for example they're gonna have a wedding or something and you know the way that wedding is gonna be is not something that god approves of it's not in the best way and you're gonna think of compromising on your morals and on your values and you're gonna attend just because you don't want to upset this person or because you guys are so quote unquote close to each other and you don't want to disappoint them or you can't imagine not being there for them on their big day. It doesn't matter. 
at the end of the day, when you die, you're going to be alone in that grave. You're going to answer for yourself. You're going to be questioned on your own. No one is going to come and help you. No one is even going to care after you die. You're lucky if people even say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajoon. Really, nobody cares. And it hurts so much because I'm seeing it with my two eyes. And I'm just like, okay, if I had died instead of my uncle, they would have still been doing these things. And it just makes me realize how people's words are so meaningless. Not everyone says things only when they mean it. A lot of people just say things just for the sake of saying things. You know, everyone was having dreams about my uncle within like the first week of his passing. And I wasn't. I couldn't have a dream. My mom to this day hasn't dreamt of him and it's been two months. But I really wanted to have a dream. And right after he passed away, maybe within the first two days or something, is when I, I, you know, I don't know how to say it, purchased a well or created a well for him. So I put in an order and... I made a well for him for, you know, Sadqijaliya, something that will be like a charity for him. Uh, for as long as that water flows and people drink out of it, he can get the reward for that, inshallah. So I'll put the link for that in the description box as well as a um, coupon code or discount code, whatever, for 10% off. And it's crazy, subhanAllah, how I didn't have any dreams about my uncle until that well was completed. I put the order in and they told me it was going to take a few weeks to a few months. And I was like, why is it going to take that long? Because when I made one for my family, it was really quick. It happened in two days, it was done. They were like, oh, it's hatch season, so that's why we're busy. We have a lot of orders. It might take longer than usual, but it'll still be, we'll do our best. So I was like, okay, no problem. So Monday night, I got the text from them saying that it was done and they sent me all the videos and pictures and I think it was around 8 something p.m. So not that night, the following night, Tuesday night when I went to sleep is when I had the most beautiful dreams about my uncle. And subhanAllah, do you think it's a coincidence that I dreamt it literally like one night after the well was done? And in that dream, so many things happened in that dream. It was like a little series. SubhanAllah, my son did not kick me. He did not hit me. He not, did not roll around on me. He didn't interrupt my sleep. My dream was not interrupted. It was beautiful. And in that dream, in one part of it, SubhanAllah, I told him, I said to my uncle that I built a well for you. And he just looked at me and he said, yeah, I know, they showed me. And then we hugged. It's just crazy to me that I couldn't have a dream about him until after the well was completed. And then what are the odds that in that dream I told him about the well? And what are the odds that he said that he knew? There is a hadith that mentions that any good that we do for someone after they pass away, it will be shown to them. But I believe that's not considered authentic or it's weak or something because one of the people who narrated it was a liar or lied at some point in his life. So, you know, you can take it with a grain of salt and you know, not really consider it authentic, but I still thought it was crazy that I dreamt that and that he told me in the dream that they showed him. So subhanAllah, if you really love someone and that person you love is no longer here, I suggest you do something that will benefit them in the hereafter, in the long run, because words are nothing, words don't mean anything. This is what I learned from my uncle passing, that people will say things that they don't mean a lot of times and just because you and I might not say things unless we mean it doesn't mean that other people are the same way actions speak louder than words uh, that's something I learned and another thing I learned is don't delay things um, my uncle just spiraled very quickly out of nowhere and that was the one weekend that I didn't go to visit and he was in the hospital for something else and I usually go to my hometown and I would have visited him but that was the one weekend that I didn't go and I was like okay I'll leave him a voice note I'll talk to him which I did on the Friday before he passed away so like four days before he passed away but 
I was planning on also leaving him like a voice note or talking to him on that weekend that I wasn't there for him. Um, but I just didn't have a chance to with my kid and doing things and okay, I'll find a better time to do it. I'll find a better time to do it. By the time I found a better time to do it, he was deteriorating. So always say what you want to say. SubhanAllah, I even went to him, you know, and I saw him and he was still conscious. I could have told him things. I could have spoken to him. I could have told everyone to clear the room so I have a minute with him. But I didn't because I was just in shock and I couldn't believe that this was happening. And I didn't think that he was actually going to pass away. I really thought that he was going to recover and just whatever comes in your mind, whatever you feel like doing, just do it right away. Don't wait for later because oftentimes there is no later or we don't have a perfect time to do things. And my uncle was a very good man and that's why maybe his loss is really affecting me like this. He was a good guy and may Allah forgive him. Oh God, you guys are like, oh, you do just come on here, make videos to cry. <laughs> no, it just happens. I don't know. I feel like I'm having a heart to heart with you guys or with my camera or whatever. It just feels a little therapeutic. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he was a good guy. All I have to say is he was a good guy. I feel like as the older generation slowly fades away and as they pass away, we're going to be lost. Our generation is going to be lost because I don't see that same love. I don't see that same affection or authenticity or whatever you want to call it in my generation as I did in the older generation. And unfortunately, a lot of people, they get older and they age, but they don't mature or they don't change. And um, you can't just consider everyone an elder who's going to be the blessings of your home and your family and your life. Um, but my uncle was one of those people. You know, he was a very good man. And with kids, he acted like a kid and he was playful and funny. And with older people, he was acting his age. This is the reality of life. We're all going to die one day. So make your life worth it. Don't think about what people have to say about you. That's a lesson to myself because I struggle with that. Always put Allah first. Don't sacrifice your hereafter for anyone or anything. And just know that we're born alone and we die alone. And only we will answer for our own actions and be held accountable for them. I hope you guys have been doing well. Let me know if you guys are going through anything or need anything or have any suggestions. Sorry I'm dead. I guess it'll just take some time, but I'm working on it. And that's why I wasn't on here for like two months because this is me. <laughs> after I've kind of like tried to work through things in my head. I still get emotional, but we're human, right? So take care and I'll talk to you guys later, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.